you know, a lot of people frustrated their houses being taken, uh, foreclosed on, etc. Uh, happened to a man in Ohio, uh, and he decided he wasn't going to take it. So he had a novel approach to fixing this issue. Let's go to clip number nine. Homeowner facing tax liens and foreclosure takes matters into his own hands and bulldozes his $350,000 home. Many of us can relate to his frustration, but it's his solution that has everybody talking. News Fox Curtis Fuller broke the story. He joins us with tonight's number one. Curtis? Yeah, can you imagine this? This homeowner says the whole situation has forced him into bankruptcy. He admits some might call him crazy, others might call him creative. But it underscores the level of anger and stress a lot of folks are feeling. No one had ever done it, so I decided, well, that'd be a good time to start. A Claremont County homeowner who bulldozed his $350,000 home. This is what it used to look like. But Terry Hoskins leveled it to prove a point. Well, probably to make banks think twice about before they try to take someone's home. You know, and if they're going to take it wrongly, that's maybe what will finally end up in the, the result will probably be them tearing their house down, like I did mine. A 10-year fight, IRS liens on his business, his home on the line as collateral. Now a local bank going after both properties. It's been a 10-year fight that Hoskins says has been a no-win situation for him. When I see that I owe $160,000 on almost a $350,000 home, and somebody decides they want to take it. And I wasn't going to stand for that, so I took it down. River Hills Bank of New Richmond had no comment for our story, but Hoskins says his battle is far from over. The bank is set to take his commercial property in a few weeks. As far as what the bank's going to get is what, when I came up on this hill, what was here, I plan on giving them back exactly what it was. I brought it out of the ground, and I plan on putting it back in the ground. Now, Hoskins says he has talked to other people who have actually contemplated doing the same thing. Now, I did some checking, and believe it or not, this is not the first time someone has bulldozed their own home. Cherie? <laughs> wow, amazing. Yeah, but you do know the true story behind this guy, right? That's so funny. Okay, hold on. So I, I read the f first half of the story, and I'm like, there's something fishy here, man. 160000 and the house is worth 350000 there's a way to make that deal, right? There's, it doesn't quite make sense yeah. uh, that the house would be being foreclosed on. And he says he just missed one payment. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's a 10-year battle. It's this been, and this is before the collapse of the economy, et cetera. This has been going on for 10 years. Like, there's something fishy Dude, here. he put his house up for collateral for a business loan for his business, okay? So it's not like, oh, hey, here's this big field. I'm going to get a loan from the bank, and I'm going to build a house, and the bank's going to want the land back, so I'm not the house down. Uh-uh. He went to the bank and he goes, look, I got a business deal. You loan me this money on this business, and I'm going to pay you back. And instead of what he did, he wrecks his house. <laughs> it's like if you came to me for business, you're like, oh, uh, yeah, you know, loan me 100 bucks, And, you know, if I don't pay you back, you can have this, this hamburger right here. And you didn't pay me back, and then you ate the hamburger in front of me. <laughs> Dude, that guy who knocked his house down, he's, I'm, his, his trouble's not over, man. I know. And, and not over. So don't get too wrapped up in feeling bad for Hoskins. Oh, my God, you know, he got sold the bill of goods, and then part of all of everybody's collapse. No, dude, plus, how big is that house, man? $350,000 gets you a lot there. In L.A., dude, you could fit that $350,000 house on this desk. <laughs> okay, but in Ohio, where he is, that was a nice-looking house, man, Yep. before he wrecked it. And it, we can't have people doing this, okay? It's one thing, look, there's terrible foreclosure stories uh, all across the country, and some of them are grossly unjust, et cetera, et cetera. But the right answer isn't bulldoze the house. Nobody wins off that. Everybody loses, right? So, and this guy, I, I, is, I'm with Wes. He's I don't, in the wrong on this one. Yeah, man. I don't Big trust time. him at all. Big time. And this is, I mean, this is an excellent example of why you don't bulldoze the house. And that news report, come on, guys. We, we can do this checking. You can do this checking. Nobody sniffed that out. Dude, it's, first of all, it's local news, and to all those local newscasters out there, the story you need to focus on is who puts the most pepperonis on their pizza, because that's all you guys are good for, period. <laughs>